Really works. Well, let's get to today's daily biz. Rutgers students Dylan Sadiq is known as social, on social media as the college cuber. After watching a video of people using the cubes to make art, Sadiq decided to use the cubes to create a portrait of a favorite basketball player. Okay. Well, since then, 40 teams have reached out on social media asking him to create their logos or players. That's awesome. Each one of these larger-than-life portraits is made of 560 cubes, weighs about 200 pounds, and takes about four hours to create. Now, despite his works of art, he has no formal training, and he says he can't paint or draw. Uh, but if this art thing doesn't work out, he can always fall back on his medical engineering degree that he is working <laughs> toward at Rutgers. So I think he'll I be think okay. He's doing okay. This is phenomenal, well, however. This is phenomenal. I mean, it really, oh, it just broke. How, I mean, it's how, like Banksy. How? To break. You can't break that up, can you? Oh, man. Uh, I'd say he's that an is artist a work of it. art. To me, it's it's basically, and I think even an artist like Aaron Kaiser, who I think is right. the most talented artist we've got here in the tri-state, would agree that is high art. I mean, yeah, it, absolutely it, it's is. just a different medium than what you know. Like not absolutely. instead of using paint, you're using Rubik's cubes, which can be really tough because you got to work that Rubik's cube to get it to that point where well, you've got it the way you want it. It play, yeah, it's not pliable. You know, with paint, you can move the boundaries yeah, a bit, yeah. and you know, that's it. It's pretty unforgiving. Yeah, I, I would think so. But that is fantastic. I just work. say my hats off to One you. One of the best things I've and, seen. But <laughs> go ahead and get that engineering degree, just just in case. Medical engineering yeah. degrees. You know, any engineering degree you're doing yeah. usually pretty well, right? By all means, get yeah, that. Good for him. Well, check this out. So road and Dayton buckled after all this heat. A yeah. couple living nearby said they know exactly when it happened because they felt a massive tremor, almost like a car hitting a brick wall. It was about 110 degrees, Ron, at the time this happened. Mm -hmm. And authorities say it is an old road and the concrete was poured back in the 1920s. Yep. So that's 100 years old. Right. And so far they say this is the only road like that that has buckled. But yeah. So far. That was so far. So far. But that would get your attention. Oh, without a doubt it would. So with some of these chuckles that are out there, too. But, you know, here's the thing. You know, you got to think that you're kind of layering on top. Some of these older roads, I guess they just kind of paved right on oh, top sure. of those. They you did. know, you already had the road there. You're not digging up concrete or anything like that. And when that concrete starts to buckle down beneath it, then you got some problems up above. So Maybe cold winter weather, it'll go back down. You know, well, you do expansion <laughs> and contraction. It might work out for them. I don't, I don't that look pretty. Uh, <laughs> they might want to fix that before winter. Uh, you might want to over there in Dayton.